Andy Pages, a Los Angeles Dodger, and he's 21 years old. Had a little bit of a hiccup at the start of 2022 where it was ugly. Did you see the same thing that I, I'm talking about right now? Yeah. It was about mid-season, and the stats were not pretty. And then he turned it on. He turned it on, and he turned it on hard. Yeah, coming into the season, I felt Andy Page yeah. just had some of the best power in the minor leagues. I think after this season, I'm not sure that I still feel like he's one of the best power hitters, but the power is still there, clearly. Yeah. And he rebounded in the second half and cobbled together a pretty decent season. He was getting pretty hot. Uh, through some stretches but I think finally the the strikeouts started catching up to him yeah Um, and I think with somebody that has as much power as he does you can be forgiven a little bit for striking out a little bit more when you're when you're hitting more bombs but with pages I think finally getting up to double a it was a big test, 21 years old. So he's he's the right age for the level, but he only hit 236 this year. So he, he wasn't able to carry a higher batting average like he has in the past. Uh, walk rate was down this year. Strikeout rate was up. It's not the kind of trend you like to see, but I still think he can rebound in 2023. And if he does, there's a lot of power potential here. He could be a cog in the middle of a lineup, maybe not with the Dodgers, but I think in most lineups he would fit pretty well in the middle, like a five or six hitter maybe. Yeah. So. Yeah, once again, um, 2021, 116 hits, 132 strikeouts. 2022, 115 hits, 140 strikeouts. That – Instantly, I look at that, and I just – I don't want any part of it. I just want to walk away. I, yeah. I'm okay with strikeouts. I'm okay to have high strikeout numbers, but when it's when it's more than you're hitting the ball, it, it's just fundamentally wrong. So it's interesting, having just talked about Drew Waters. Mm-hmm. Because Andy Pages strikes out at a lower clip than Drew Waters, but Andy Pages is a power hitter. So typically they strike out more. So I'm willing to be more forgiving of Andy Pages' strikeout rate than I am of somebody like Waters, who's supposed to be more of a contact type of hitter. He draws a comp to A. Eugenio Suarez with the Mariners, third baseman. Um, That seems fairly suitable for Andy Pages. He might have some 30 home run seasons, maybe even a 40 home run season in there. Probably not going to carry a lot of high batting averages. But if he hit 280, 270 some years in there, it wouldn't terribly surprise me either. Well, we we got a couple years for Pages too, I think, especially in the Dodgers system. Yeah, he could get traded away, but, you know, he can sit in the minors and try to figure out these strikeouts a little bit longer um, since he is a Dodger, which I, I think that's a plus for him. Um, and the, the way the Dodgers are ran, maybe he never sees the field in the Dodgers um, just because they'll plug and play free agents and stuff like that. So he's going to have to get pretty hot. He, he's going to have to have some good stats to get plugged into the Dodgers yeah. Um, organization, I guess. I'd agree. Our ETA tool has them up for 2024. That's fine. I thought he was bigger than that. He's only 6'1", 212. Yeah, not a real big guy, but a lot of power. It's like me walking around. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ayuhanio is only 5'11", 213, so... It might not be too bad of a comp. Yeah. Even last year, I really liked Andy Pages. The, it- you know, the veneer has dimmed a little bit. It's not quite as shiny. But I still think he's going to be an interesting player. I'm not giving up the farm to get him at this point. 
but I do think he's he's going to be a starter somewhere in the outfield. Cool. That's Andy Pages. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and of course visit our website, scoutthestatline.com, for more.